Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lois and welcome back to Terraria. In the last episode, we were in the Crimson getting a bunch of stuff. Um, we didn't end up getting the trophy for the Brain of Cthulhu, but oh well. Um, we'll live with that. Uh, we'll be heading back to the Crimson sooner rather than later because there's a couple things there that's going to help us with, uh, well getting the clothier to become Skeletron again. Um, that is something important that we need to do, and it's kind of hard to do it with a uh, completed... Oh, wait, no. Oh, did we defeat Plantera? No. We just had to get into hard mode. So I don't think we've defeated Plantera in that world, um, which would be good, because we need to do some stuff in the dungeon, and in order to um, make our lives easier, a non-Plantera dungeon is the best. So, um, today we are going to be doing some work, uh, farming events, and the main event that we're going to be working on is the Frost Moon. Um, this is probably the hardest of the events, but um, we're going to try to get through it and try to get some more trophies. I believe we already have one trophy from that. Uh, oh no, we have all the trophies. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, I still want to do it today because there's a couple of things, uh, that we can get that would be really nice to have. Um, but since it is currently day, um, let's go ahead and grab an Eternia Crystal and go take on that event. So we're going to do the Frost Moon today and just kind of work on, uh, trying to get more weapons. Uh, there's a couple of things I'd like to get. Uh, mostly from the Ever Scream. So if we can do that, that'd be awesome. But let's go ahead and let's see. We need to grab. Okay, we have the Mystic Lightning Aura Staff. Let's go ahead and get all of our buffs before we do anything else. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna be doing the the uh, Old One's Army to begin with, and then we're gonna do a Frost Moon. Um, the episodes very soon are going to be a little bit different, um, so basically we're going to start, uh, I can only do one, that's right. Um, basically we're going to start working towards doing the newer events once again, um, and in order to do that, we are going to want to get um, a little bit of a marina built, but we're not going to worry about that anytime soon. Um, we're honestly going to do that as we go. Um, we're going to do the lunar. We're going to start the lunar events and then worry about making an arena for the Moon Lord. Um, but the main thing about that is we kind of need to finish building our castle and specifically just building all the NPC areas. Uh, so we're going to kind of spend the next couple of episodes after this episode working on that. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and do some, uh, an event episode again, just because, well, might as well. Uh, these are fun, so let's come over here and kill these guys. And cool, so... So far, not too bad. Really hit the lightning bugs though. They kind of ignore everything and just come attack the crystal. Which isn't nice. Um, of all the events, we do need to have quite a few things taken care of with the Old One's army. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head if the Dark Mage drops any uh, trophies, but I think believe Betsy, who we haven't seen yet, does. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, well, we need to we need to encounter her and actually deal with that. So, just send that off on its way. And let the dragon take care of as much over there as we can. Alright, so run back. Kill everything. In sight. And basically just kind of go back and forth, because that's what we do. 
I really hate the dive bombers. That is probably the most annoying of the enemies. We need to heal. I just now realized. We were not doing too well on health. Uh, so we have a Draken. Go ahead and kill him. And there are two more over here. Is that 2,000? Ethereum Goblin. Wow. Alright, so we have enough stuff to get a little bit more. We don't have much time. Um, we're missing a mana somewhere. I'll see it over there, so... Um, there we go. It's gotta be over here. Yeah, I think it's right there. Hopefully. Um, I don't really want to, like, not have all the mana we should at this point. But I believe the next wave is where the uh, Dark Mage starts showing up. And we have our first Defender Medals. Cool. So we don't have too much time. Let's try to get... all of the stuff we can. Alright, so we have all of the mana. Good. Cool. So... Oh no, Ogre. Um... Let's just try to annihilate him. And... It's almost dead. Dark Mage? No, we have one of those crystal things. We are so going to die. Yep. Alright, well. Whoa, we didn't die. There's another ogre. But he's gonna disappear in like a second, so. Um, if we want to do better at this, we just need to... Oh my god, I hate the ogre with the, the debuff, the, the oozed. Um, movement is significantly reduced. Uh, especially on the ground. So, um, it is nearly nighttime, so let's go ahead and just come back and uh, replenish our buffs. And we have four Defender Medals. We did get an Ogre Mask and Ethereum Goblin Banner. Um, I don't know if we've already gotten one of the Goblin Banners or not. Doesn't look like there's one in there. Uh, one of the next things I really need to get done is I do need to kind of finish... Um, sorting my inventory, and I, I mentioned this a couple episodes ago, uh, or might have might have been last episode, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, we do have, like, I do have, uh, all the items in Terraria wrote down, um, in a Google Doc, uh, it's just a matter of, at this point, uh, getting all of them, uh, sorted how I want them. And then actually coming in game and doing it. So, still got a bit of work to do, but uh, let's go ahead. I think that is a good, uh, good equipment. We have our beetle armor. Cool. So basically, we just gotta wait till night, which should be relatively soon. It's five o'clock. Um, so yeah, we don't have too much to do with the castle. I, I've got to do a lot of work. I'm still waiting on the traveling salesman to give me some yellow platforms. And then I can finish up uh, the nurse's house, which would be really nice. Um, and I, I'm really liking how all these places are looking. Um, I really do like how both of the, uh, the spooky and the uh, bar turned out. The bar looks amazing. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually break open a hole right here. And I think I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, and I think we're going to have a little bit of a doorway so we can get up here very quickly. Um, 
But yeah, we have what, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a lot of houses to do with like 13 or so. And I'd like to try to build two or three every episode for a couple of times. And then um, we'll go to the, we'll, we'll take a break, kill some bosses. Uh, and then we'll try to finish up the rest of the houses. Uh, and then after that, um, the plan is to take on the lunar events once again. Um, so go kill the lunatic cultists and go from there with um, fighting all the towers, getting all of the uh, uh, lunar fragments, and then Moon Lord. But before we take on the Moon Lord, uh, what we're going to end up doing is, if we look at the map, uh, when the Lunatic Cultist dies, uh, the four pillars spawn um, basically equal distance from each other. Uh, so what you can do with that is you can actually, since we are here, we're going to build a uh, an arena somewhere relatively nearby. Uh, I don't know... I don't know where yet. Uh, we could build it. I don't really want to build it in the corruption. That's a bad idea. But we have this big, wide open area right here. Uh, we'll probably build an arena here. Uh, and with the Eternity of Crystal, uh, we can have the arena there as well. And then just have a flick of a switch and have traps go off. Um, and that's basically what we're going to want for a lot of this stuff um, to finish up. Uh, the not the uh, the frost moon and the pumpkin moon and uh, the old ones army m mostly so uh, let's go ahead and some of these guys in and should be pretty pretty straightforward um, let's in fact change our arrows and yeah um, we're already wave four that's easy. And Everscream should start spawning. And that's who I want to see. Everscream drops some magical items um, that I'd love to get my hands on. And... I don't know if we've gotten one yet or not, but we'll find out later. Um, let's heal. And... We are not really using all that many, uh, all that many like uh, arrows. So, using the holy arrows is definitely a thing we can do. And there's Santa, NK1. Uh, he should fall pretty quickly. And. There we go. Looks like we have another one that spawned. Or yeah, we've got another one that spawned over here. Alright, so let's make sure we're hitting him. And not somebody else. Now, I'm not using any potions or anything. Because uh, honestly, we don't really need to right now. So, we do have... Ever screams. Hey, we got a uh, Christmas uh, hook. And there's an Ever Scream. So let's kill him. Uh, and yeah, so uh, basically doing more Christmas themed. The Frost Moon. Uh, this thing is not that bad, but we are going to die. So let's get away. Um, let's use a regeneration potion because I have a bunch of those, and we're dead. Now, the frost moon doesn't end until the night's over. So, as soon as we're, as soon as we respawn, we'll be right back at it. And it takes forever because uh, we are in the expert mode, and I'm very slow, so I need to remember that. Uh, let's heal, grab a bunch of stuff, and there should be an Everscream. Yeah, let's kill him. Should be nice and easy. There we go. 
And wave 10, we still haven't seen, we still don't have any, uh, uh, what are they called? What's the, the big spirit? What's the main boss? Uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head. It has been a while since I've played this. Um, Terraria is one of those games that I, I really do enjoy. It's a great game, don't get me wrong. But it has its moments where it's like, I don't really want to play this. And... Oh, great. We have both. Alright, so Ice Queen. Yes. So now we have the Ice Queen. Uh, I want to kill these Everstreams if we can. Get down and get some hearts. And there is... Uh, this one is dead. Alright, so with that taken care of, let's go ahead and kill the Ice Queen. Uh, Ice Queen can drop some really good stuff. I don't know, I know we've already gotten the North Pole. I don't know that she drops too much more that I really want. Uh, but if we can, uh, something I've realized I've never actually done in this game. Oh, great. Up high enough for wyverns. Uh, something I've never actually done in this game is I uh, get all of the uh, get to level 15 of the frost moon, um, which is an achievement. And come on, die already! There we go. And you're dead. Cool. So we're at wave 12. Um, let's just grab some of these parts, Gettys, and let's switch those, so infinite uh, ammo will be better, and that is damage. Especially when she holds still. Um, the biggest problem with the Ice Queen is she's just so fast, uh, it's really hard to do any damage. Alright, let's drop down, try to find some hearts. And, uh, great, we got frozen. Alright, hey, we got the magic item I was looking for. Um, which I, we might have already had one, but it doesn't matter. Um, let's take out as many of these guys as we can. Something, let's kill something, please. Nope, let's die. Okay. Um, yeah, I really don't know if there's any reason for us to do the Frost Moon at this point. Uh, I just felt like doing it. That's kind of. The, the whole purpose behind this. Um, yes, we get to watch the dance. The dance of the, uh, the Everscream. Uh, so let's get away from our base. Oh, she's still hurt. She didn't replenish her health. Um, but is she flying away? No. Um, wow, she killed us really quickly. Uh, I didn't have my uh, Stardust Dragon, so that's part of the reason, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that. So hopefully we can get some good stuff from this. Uh, I honestly don't know if we will or not. And let's actually use weapons we should. Uh, we just lost the wizard. And... There we go. Oh, we died. We're gonna die a lot to this uh, until we get a little bit better armor. Um, is she still weak? Nope, she replenished her health. Oh well. Um, what we'll do is we'll just kind of try to stay low to the ground and kill everything down here. Let's get Stardust Dragon and kill the Yetis. Uh, Yetis are relatively rare, I think. They only show up 
at the later like parts of the uh, frost moon but that's it um the night's over so let's see if we got anything good i don't know what we did um we lost a lot of money and there's plenty of uh, harpy feathers over here but i don't think there's much else so we have a chain gun which is really cool um how powerful is that 42 versus 78 yeah razor pine which is a magic weapon it's a really good magic weapon if you have a good magic build uh some elf stuff and the christmas hook so i think that is gonna be it for this episode um i know it wasn't the greatest we didn't really do all that much in terms of progression um i am super slow but uh it's one of those things that we kind of needed to do it uh just get it over with and whatnot so uh what we're going to do is next episode uh i'm going to try to have at least some inventory sorted and um i might try to go ahead and start placing stuff uh up here uh i don't know on that i so no promises on that but uh attempts will be made and what we'll do for the next couple of episodes is we'll build more of the apartments, as I'm calling them, uh, the NPC houses. And then after that, um, we are going to, we'll take a break in the middle of that to do some like boss farming, um, maybe Plantera or something. Uh, there's plenty of trophies still to get. Uh, and then we will uh, take on the lunatic cultist once more and try again to take on the moon lord. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!